So you're here because you're thinking about having a circumcision or you're having a circumcision done. Um, and you're here for, yeah, you're here for reassurance that someone's actually gone through with it and they've come out on the other side okay. I am that person. I had mine done two years ago and I can safely say it was the best decision I've ever made in my life and I would never go back to my previous self. It's okay to be scared. You're having surgery in a private area, in a delicate area. You don't want it to affect your manhood. Things can go wrong with surgery. Um, unlikely, but they can go wrong. I was scared when I had mine done two years ago and uh, I saw videos like this out there that really comforted me, really supported me. And uh, I made the right decision based off of that. Which I shouldn't have done, but it heavily influenced me. And I'm hoping I can make the same um, influence on you now to get it done. So you probably already know this, but just some pros and cons that I've written down. So one of the pros of being circumcised is it's easier to clean the area. Uh, less risk of STIs and UTIs. Um, it's more aesthetically pleasing, which is subjective. Um, and it helps with a tight foreskin. I had phimosis where it's where the foreskin is really tight. In severe cases, you can't pull it back whatsoever because it gets so tight or is so tight. Um, in my case, it was tight, but I was able to retract it, but it took a lot of um, retracting, point forward, retracting, point forward. It got to the point one time that um, I pulled back my foreskin whilst I was masturbating, and I had to tell my mum that I was in the shower cleaning, and uh, because it got stuck behind the head of the penis, because I've never retracted it fully before, and I retracted it and it got stuck and it was really embarrassing because I had to walk into A&E with everybody watching me um, with my shorts pulled away from my penis because obviously that area has never been exposed to other things before so it was really hurting and really sensitive rubbing on the on the shorts and other things um, so that was really embarrassing the doctor had to gel it and pull the foreskin back over the penis which was all fine and for these two years, like I said, it's been two years since my operation, I've, I've always put it off. I've always put things off. Um, even though I knew I needed circumcision, I thought, well, I'll get round to it, blah, blah, blah. We'll see how we get on with your tight foreskin. And I really wish I would have had this done many years ago, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's look at the pros of circumcision. Decreased sexual pleasure. So you really, really don't need to worry about this. And I mean this, you do not need to worry about this. You know, you may have heard online that you lose a lot of your sensitivity. So sex isn't as good. That's bullshit. Sex feels amazing. It feels no different. And even if there is a minute, a, a minuscule change, yeah, to how it feels, that was two years ago. I can't even remember how it felt two years ago because I'm me now with this circumcised penis. So don't worry about it. It feels amazing. You don't lose sensitivity. Don't worry about this, yeah? Because that's probably going to be your main concern. And I don't want it to be because that's stupid. <laughs> um, other people say you lose like 80% sensitivity, 20% sensitivity. Um, but it's absolute bullshit. You don't lose sensitivity. Everything feels amazing, rest assured. Another con is complications. Well, decreased sexual pleasure wasn't a con. It was probably a pro. Or um, well, non, non, really. Complications of surgery. Very unlikely because the surgeons have done hundreds, maybe even thousands of circumcisions. They're highly trained. The possibility of your force having complications is very unlikely, but it can happen. That's a risk you'll have to take on board if you want to go through with this. Um, I wouldn't let that stop you though, because like you'll like you'll be told on social media or by surgeons or everything like that, people who've had it done like myself, that is not something you need to worry about. All you need to worry about basically is like, do you want it done or not? I, I can't like, I can't think of a single reason why you wouldn't want this done. That being said, I wouldn't get circumcised just for aesthetic reasons so the look of it do you think circumcised penises look good i don't think it's worth being circumcised going through the whole process to recover it 
you know, the, the healthcare, the stress on the healthcare, the doctor's time just for you to have a nice looking penis. But then again, it's your choice. And it might not be free like it was for me in the NHS because I, I actually needed it doing. But yeah. So I'm gonna speak a bit about the recovery process. It took me 14 days until I was able to go on mile long walks, like miles and miles. I went to the Peak District, this is in Sheffield. And uh, I went on a very, quite a long walk for someone who's just recovered from surgery or recovering from surgery. Altogether, until I was completely healed, was probably a month. But you're not like an invalid, you're not disabled for like two weeks. For about a week, it's going to be incredibly painful if it's as bad as mine. Mine was very painful. It was very painful. Um, I recommend having Vaseline on some kind of cloth or tampon and put it in your underwear or whatever you're wearing. I was actually naked for a lot of the time just to let some air to it and all that stuff, good stuff. But uh, I recommend putting a pad in your boxers, in your underwear, whatever you're wearing, uh, just so it doesn't stick. Because obviously your penis is going to be sweaty, there might be some discharge, uh, other fluid leaking from it, which is absolutely normal. Obviously, if that persists, get in contact with your GP or your doctor or your surgeon, as they'll tell you. Things to watch out for. Um, but yeah, put some Vaseline on like a tissue every time you wear underwear just so it doesn't stick. I didn't have to painfully peel it off. But yeah, I was up and moving around quite well in two weeks. And after every week after that, it just got better and better and better. And after a month, I was ready to go, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so what happens now? What happens now after this video? Well, you need to decide if this is going ahead or not. If it is already going ahead, rest easy. It's coming and it's going to change your life. For those of you who are just thinking about having it done, you need to look at all the pros and cons, weigh it up and decide to have it done. <laughs> because that's what I advise. But you need to have a look at the pros and cons and decide um, if it's right for you and then you need to message your GP or your doctor whatever you want to call them and uh, Say look tight foreskin or this reason that reason and Say what I want a circumcision and they'll probably prescribe you with some cream to help loosen and Make the foreskin easier to retract or another reason Something to help it because circumcision in my case was last resort Because the cream didn't help it wasn't practical and I didn't really want to be using cream for the rest of my life. Uh, it was just weird and awkward. But, yeah, get it done. That's my advice to you. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching. I hope I've put your mind at ease. Or at least helped in doing so. Hope I've answered at least some of your questions. If you've got any more, put them down in the comments. But yeah, thank you for watching.